Brooker X-ray diffraction solutions are available with a variety of detectors, supporting a wide range of needs. Whether you need the lowest possible background to ensure every minor phase is detected, or virtually unlimited dynamic range for thin film analysis, Brooker offers an XRD detector for you. Today, we're going to briefly review the XRD detector families and introduce its newest member. Along with sources and goniometry, detectors are one of the core components of an X-ray diffraction solution. In the last decade, we've seen leaps with solid state semiconductor technology. The use of silicon to, to directly co convert photons to energy gives us intrinsic energy discrimination. Precise microelectronic manufacturing has yielded detectors with hundreds of thousands of strips and pixels. Advanced scanning modes developed to take advantage of this hardware has resulted not only in faster scans, but all new ways to probe the reciprocal lattice. And best of all, these detectors require no consumables or ongoing maintenance. The Brooker detector lineup begins with a second generation 160 channel silicon strip detector, the SSD-160-2. This detector gives great results in just a matter of minutes, while also offering 0, 1, and 2 dimensional capabilities. The next detector is the second generation of our well-known Linksi. With 20% more strips than the SSD, the Linksi offers more signal, more coverage, and better energy discrimination. The Linksi XET is the right detector choice if the ultimate energy discrimination is needed. Electronic elimination of K-beta results in about twice the signal, while also giving the lowest background by limiting the majority of sample fluorescence effects. The technology in the Linksi XET has virtually eliminated the need for analog metal K-beta filters and secondary monochromators. If you're doing a lot of Bragg-Rentano measurements on powder samples, the, X the XET is definitely the right detector for you. Hello, my name is Christina Draten. I'm a product manager at Brooker AXS. Like no other analytical method, X-ray diffraction is characterized by the broad range of measurement methods and data evaluation techniques, which are used to analyze a wide variety of samples. And more often than not, you have only a single instrument to do the different jobs, and it needs to do them all well. Our DIET Advance and DIET Discover systems allow you to switch instrument configurations easily. And since the introduction of the ALGA 2R500K in 2017, we are offering you a detector that is as versatile as the DIET Diffractometer platform. We, and hundreds of happy users around the globe, are using the ALGA 2 for all applications, from microdiffraction and SACS, to texture analysis and PDF measurements, and at all wavelengths, from chromium, up to silver. In fact, the IGA2 integrated in the D8 platform is so powerful for XRD that we wanted to make it accessible to even more users and at the same time focus on the core requirements of thin film characterization and powder diffraction applications. So together with Dectris, we are now introducing the IGA2R 250K detector with a square sensor and over a quarter of a million pixels. At the same time, all IGA2 detectors get a performance boost with even higher count rate capabilities and an extended upper threshold energy level to reduce unwanted background, especially for applications using hard radiation. Both IGA2 models, the 250K and the 500K, are true multi-purpose detectors covering all application scenarios. But what makes the IGA2R such a fantastic detector for laboratory X-ray instruments? First of all, the outstanding performance of the IGA2 series is the result of Dectris' continuous implementation of the latest advancement in HPC technology. Secondly, we put quite some thought into the physical interface and designed a detector mount that allows tool and alignment-free change of its orientation and of the sample to detector distance. Importantly, there's no need to recalibrate the IGA2 which means that it takes only moments to adapt the instrument setup, for example, from to theta to gamma optimized data collection mode, or from a high angular resolution to a large coverage, high intensity configuration. Last, and most importantly from the user's perspective, is that Brooker integrated the IGA2 as a true 
multi-mode detector right from the start. It takes only a click in the software to move between 0D, 1D and 2D modes. And for 2D scanning data, we went the extra mile and developed a patented algorithm that delivers distortion-free, continuous 2D data without any smearing. This inherent flexibility allows you to pick the right data collection strategy for every sample. And our consistent implementation ensures the best data quality for each one of them. My colleagues in our Brooker Application Labs will give you more details about the benefits of the IGA 2R 250K and the impact of the overall performance boost for the IGA 2 family for thin film characterization and powder diffraction applications. But first, let's go to Switzerland, where Markus Müller from Dectris will give us an insight into their development of the IGA 2 series. Hi, I'm Markus Müller, Product Manager, XOD at Dectris. I would like to introduce you to the latest member of our Eiger 2 family of hybrid photo counting detectors, the Eiger 2R250K. And there is more exciting news. Along with the new Eiger 2R250K, we are also introducing a feature and performance upgrade for the Eiger 2R500K. Let's first have a look at the new Eiger 2R250K. It features a quarter million hyperpixels on an area of 38 by 38 mm. On top of that, the Eiger 2R250K shares all the high-end features and performance of its larger sibling, the Eiger 2R500K. What makes these detectors such outstanding tools for your measurements? Eiger 2 offers direct detection of X-rays in single photo counting mode in combination with small pixels and large sensitive area. This achieves low noise, high resolution and exceptional coverage. Eiger 2 also offers advanced features such as dual energy discrimination for an effective reduction of background. With continuous read write and superior count rates, you can benefit from unsurpassed dynamic range. The Eiger 2 R500K was the first detector of the Eiger 2 family that we launched. We started to deliver it to our customers three years ago. Since then, we have seen new detector developments from Dectris. Other Eiger 2 detectors support a wider range of X-ray energies. Then there's the Dectris Instant Retrigger for superior count rates. And many of our Eiger 2 detectors for the Synchrotron deliver very high frame rates and extreme data rates. To achieve this, we have to squeeze every last bit of performance out of the hardware by optimizing firmware and software. Seeing all this progress within the Eiger 2 family we knew we can bring these improvements also to our early Eiger 2 detector. So, we improved the electronics and calibration. The detectors can now be used for any radiation from chromium to silver. And the dual energy discrimination for reduction of background can be set to any energy from 3.5 to 30 keV. Dectris Instant Retrigger is now supported as in any other Eiger 2 detector. With this feature, you get accurate measurements even of the highest intensities that you usually observe with laboratory sources. And thanks to optimized firmware and software, the Eiger 2 R250K and 500K achieve frame rates of up to 50 Hz. This allows for continuous scans with high resolution. We also thought about how we can make our leading Eiger 2 technology available to more users and researchers. With the perfect pixel size, no detector background and exceptionally high count rate, the Eiger 2 R500K is the ultimate multi-purpose XOD detector. But not everyone needs the large area of the 500K. Think of applications like electrometry, grazing incidents or non-ambient diffraction. In such applications, the measurement geometry or components of the setup limit the field of view. Then, a smaller detector is perfectly sufficient. Now, with the Eiger 2 R250K, we make all the high-end performance of Eiger 2 R available in a detector with 512 by 512 hybrid pixels on an area of 38 by 38 mm, which is still large by the standards of many other pixel detectors. The new Eiger 2 R250K makes our leading Eiger 2 technology 
more accessible and will allow more users and researchers to benefit from the outstanding performance and features of Iger 2. If you want to learn more about the new Iger 2R250K and the improved features of 500K, please go to Dectus.com. To see Iger 2R in action, we will now go to the Bruker Application Lab in Karlsruhe, Germany. Welcome to our XRT Application Lab in Karlsruhe. My name is Stefan Jakobs and I'm an application specialist for thin film characterization. I'm standing here in front of our D8 Discover Plus, equipped with a new Iga 2 R250K detector. This detector comes with a very useful set of features for the characterization of thin films. In this short video, I would like to highlight a few features of the detector. The variable detector distance, the high dynamic range and the large detector window. Powder applications use parafocusing or Bragg-Brentano geometry where the detector is fixed at a certain distance, the focus of the X-ray beam. In contrast, thin film applications favor the use of a parallel beam. This means we are free to choose the detector distance which best suits our application needs. For example, in epitaxial layers with a large mismatch, the diffraction features can be quite far apart in reciprocal space. In this case, angular coverage is favored over resolution which is achieved by moving the detector closer to the sample. In contrast, a complicated super ladder stack may lead to features that are very close to each other. Here, improving the detector resolution by using a larger distance can help to separate those features. Normally, a distance change would require a subsequent recalibration of a position sensitive detector. The Iga 2, in combination with the D8 Discover platform, provides an excellent solution to overcome this obstacle. The secondary track of the instrument can be equipped with a track distance recognition system, enabling the software to update the detector calibration in real time. The second feature I would like to highlight is the large dynamic range of the Iga 2 R250K, which allows us to accurately measure both very intense and very weak signals. For example, thin films are aligned in a direct beam. For most detectors, this alignment step is done using beam attenuators to avoid detector saturation. This is different for the Iga 2 detector. Its high dynamic range can even handle the intense photon flux of the direct beam without saturating. As a result, you can switch from alignment to measurement steps without any interruption. And there's no chance that you may accidentally forget the attenuator and the beam path and ruin the measurement. The high dynamic range can also improve the speed of X-ray reflectometry measurements. The scan intensity varies by several orders of magnitude. Starting with the direct beam, typically in the order of 100 million counts per second, and ending at the background level of a few CPS or below. To handle such a large intensity range on a detector with a low dynamic range, beam attenuators are needed to provide correct intensity and good statistics. But each time an absorber is moved in or out of the beam path, the measurement time is interrupted and slowed down. In super lattice samples, where peaks of high intensity occur periodically, an auto-absorber would trigger frequently. As the Iga 2 hands the full flux provided by the source, an absorber is not required and measurement time decreases significantly. The Iga 2 R250K also comes with a large detector window, which improves the measurement speed for 1D or 2D applications. Although most infill methods are performed in 0D mode and with narrow slits, the large field of view of the Iga 2 can be exploited in fast reciprocal space maps also called rapid RSM. One dimension of such maps is given by the 2 theta coverage of the detector. This means the larger the detector, the larger the resulting RSM. For example, in graded epi layers or layers grown on large miscut substrates, the diffraction features can be far apart. With the Iga 2 R250K, you can capture them in just a single RSM and reduce your measurement time by at least a factor of two. Of course, you can also use the Iga 2 as a 2D detector for thin films. In samples where the layer is misaligned with respect to the substrate, like twist domains common in oxide crystals, the additional dimension provides direct ac access to the epitaxial relation. The Iga 2 R250K on the D8 Discover is intuitive to use and offers maximum flexibility, like a Swiss Army knife for thin film research. And with that, I hand over to my colleague Nick and Madison, who will talk about the performance of the new Iga 2 for powder applications. 
Hi, my name is Nick Rodesny, and I'm an application scientist for XRD in Madison, Wisconsin. The Iger 2R500K is a great detector for powders. One reason I like it is it is easy to switch between 1 and 2D scanning modes. 2D diffraction is really great for powders, in particular, micro diffraction. In cases where you have a very small sample that's just maybe a millimeter in size, uh, something like a small inclusion in a rock, we want to collect as much information as possible without destroying the sample. We can do this with the Iger 2R 500K because it has such a large active area on the detector. This non-destructive sample prep method is really important for things like archeological artifacts or rare mineral specimens where you don't want to destroy the sample. High throughput screening and mapping also benefit from micro diffraction. Combining snapshot mode with a small sample volume, you can easily collect a lot of data in a very short period of time. You can also use micro diffraction to assess sample prep quality. Common problems like large crystals or preferred orientation can easily be seen in 2D datasets. Another feature I like about the Iger 2R 500K is it can be used for snapshot or scanning mode for one or 2D data collection. This provides a good balance of coverage, statistics, and temporal resolution. For example, non-ambient or inoperando battery measurements, ramping or discharging or charging of the battery really benefits from snapshot mode because you have increased temporal resolution. During dwells or full charge or discharge of the battery, scanning mode can be used for better statistics and more angular coverage. Both scanning and snapshot mode work for 1 or 2D data collections. For 1D, uh, you have a larger beam so you get more signal, and with 2D, you have additional structure information you can collect from the rings. The Iger 2i 500K works with a large variety of wavelengths, everything from a low energy chrome to a high energy silver. This is because of the expanded energy threshold. We get better background due to rejection of cosmic radiation while preserving our diffraction signal. That makes this detector ideal for PDF analysis using molybdenum radiation. You can move it really close to your sample and get massive 1D coverage while using our panoramic optics like a solar. And because we're in a transmission geometry, there's no worry about defocusing effects. The compact size also allows for access to really high two theta angles and maximum Q. As a scientist, I really appreciate the high level of integration in the software. It makes my life a lot easier. The Iger 2R 250K is a great addition to the XRD detector family. Along with the Lynxi and the newly improved Iger 2R 500K, the Iger 2R 250K really strikes a perfect balance. It has a great sensor size. It's a perfect balance between spatial and energy resolution. And that ultra high dynamic range. So anybody looking for a multi-purpose detector, really the Iger 2R 250K is probably the detector for you. If you have any questions about the Iger 2 and our D8 diffractometers, join us for our Q&A session on the 23rd of March, or visit us online at brooker.com slash Goodbye.